Hey, it's Chris Linton here from TribeFit, and today I just wanted to do a really quick video, something that came top of mind for me over the last couple of days. Uh, yesterday I spoke with a person that's looking to, has been looking to get online clients for some time, really an expert in this space, um, and know their stuff in terms of you know, IT tech, done a fair bit of research, paid way too much for um, uh, information and, and education in terms of how to put together packages, and all of that sort of stuff for uh, online clients when they get clients. Uh, their, their funnels are way too complex and I guess they're almost too advanced for their own good. And um, after speaking with him, he mentioned that uh, he, he, he could get leads, he could get loads of leads, not the ideal high quality type of leads he was looking for. Uh, so when he would get in contact with them, they'd think, oh, what's going on here? Um, and they obviously wouldn't turn into clients. And one of the massive things he said is, although he has you know, no real problem getting leads or, or inquiries, he could not turn a lead or inquiry into an online training client, he couldn't turn it into a paying client. So as a result, it's only going to be short-lived because you know, you've know you got cash going out or efforts uh, going out in terms of generating these leads and generating all these uh, interest, inquiry, etc. but then not turning them into clients is not bringing back any cash flow and not bringing any results, and as a result, it makes it pretty tough to want to continue. So what I wanted to do today is just go through uh, what is the most profitable niche as an online training client. If, you, if you're trying to get online training clients and you haven't nailed a profitable lead, uh, uh, if you haven't nailed a profitable niche, then you will have a lot of trouble. You might be doing all the right things, all the best things, all the correct things, um, but if w without doing that one little thing, without doing that little bit of research, picking who you're targeting and why you're targeting, no matter what you do, no matter what funnels you have in place, no matter what advertising uh, strategies you have in place, you will struggle. So it's a very, very powerful thing and that's why I wanted to go through it today. So what is the most profitable niche? First and foremost, before um, I go through what's the most profitable niche, I, I, I want to give some background as, as to why uh, niching is important. So as we all know, in the fitness space, the health space, it's a very, very competitive space. Every single man and his dog uh, is a trainer, a personal trainer these days, a nutritionist, a, a, a weight loss coach, whatever it might be. Everybody's an expert. Everybody's done um, training and, and uh, programs and, and gotten their certifications in certain things and getting more certifications, going to more training classes and getting more pieces of paper and plaques on your wall is not going to help you get more clients and, cut, uh, and, and put you as a, a cut above the rest of the people out there. Pretty much from a, an RTO or registered training organization perspective, they're pumping out people left, right and center. The course is getting shorter, uh, the course is getting faster, they're getting cheaper and so, you know, rewind uh, five, ten years ago, um, there wasn't as many people getting rolled out fresh uh, personal trainers or, or, or trainers or coaches every single day. Now, it's getting more competitive. Uh, you thought it was competitive before, but it's only going to get worse. So why, one second, just reconnecting. If you do not niche, you are competitive, competing against every single person that, that either thinks they're a personal trainer, has ever trained before, has ever been in the gym before and is trying to get uh, coaching clients. It doesn't matter what certification they've got, that you will be competing against every single one. If you, for example, say, hey, um, I'm looking for clients that are between 20 and 40 years old and looking to tone up and, and lose fat. Well, surprise, surprise, so are 99% of the other trainers out there. Every single person says that they can help You know, a general range, uh, male or female, uh, a wide age range looking to lose fat and tone up. It's the most predictable, most straightforward, most basic, uh, I, I guess, targeting. And as a result, if, let's just say, you know, I'll just make up a number, let's just say there's a million trainers, whether they're, whether they're certified or not certified out there, sorry, just have an interruption, um, you will be competing against every single one of those million people. But, for example, if you target, say, you know, um, women, I spoke to someone yesterday, someone that targets women, 30 to 35 years old that have an issue with polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's very, very specific. The reason why they targeted that target is they had that issue themselves and they were an expert. They knew all the specific things that someone would need to do to get results with that specific condition. If, for example, they're out in the market and they're marketing themselves to those types of people, people with those issues, people with um, looking for a solution and they've been to a generalist trainer before, um, if they've been to a generous trainer before and they haven't seen results, they'll be you know, hurting and looking for someone that has 
uh, a bit more specificity, knowledge around uh, where they're at, what they're looking to do, and who they feel can uh, and who they believe can give them the result they're looking for. So, if you're a generalist trainer, most of the people have been to that before. They've been burnt. They haven't got the results that they're, they're looking for. So they're searching for newer people. They're looking for people that uh, they believe. Uh, if they hand over their hard-earned cash, they believe they can finally get the result they're looking for. For that specific person I gave uh, as an example before, it is a very spe specific condition, and that person's able to go, okay, because you've got this condition, if you train like everyone else would tell you to train, or you eat like everyone else would tell you to train, you won't get the results. You need to do this, 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 and this to get results. As you can see here on my, all my testimonials with people with similar conditions, similar age brackets, similar uh, gender as yourself, and got the results that you're looking for. Would you like to come on, with, uh, on board with me? Or would you like to train with the, uh, the personal trainer down the road that has just come out of a course, has no idea about your specific conditions, and is just like someone you've tried before and never got results? It's pretty obvious that they're going to choose uh, the person that they believe can give them the, the, the best results for their hard-earned cash, and the person they believe has the most experience um, helping people with their specific condition as well. They're obviously going to help, um, uh, or it, it's also gonna allow them to charge at a higher rate and it's also gonna, it, gonna ensure that you convert uh, at a much higher rate as well. So uh, that's why to niche, instead of competing against the million people out there, that example I gave before, there might only be you know 50 people in Australia that target that specific condition. So that person is only competing against 50 other trainers in Australia, for example, uh, versus someone that's going, I'm going to train male and females between 20 and 40 who want to lose weight and tone up. They need to compete against a million people. So as you can see from a competition perspective, A, they're going to have to discount their prices more. Uh, B, they're going to get people that are just kicking tires and speaking to everyone and anyone because they're such a generalist, whereas the other person will be able to charge higher, convert easier because there's only a handful of people that are able to help those sorts of people. So, why niche? We've just gone through that. What are the most profitable niches? Well, the most profitable niches, when everyone, every time I speak to someone, always pick, first and foremost, the category that you fit within. So, for example, uh, I spoke to a guy who's, um, you know, a, a 30, 32 year old guy, um, you know, fairly ripped, fairly, fairly good in shape, lots of tattoos, um, you know, shaved head, etc., etc. Um, and he was targeting he, he, he believed his best niche was females between 30 and 40 years old. He targeted people who were following Michelle Bridges, for example, and he was wondering why he could get leads, but uh, oh, he had, struggled, had a struggle getting leads. Uh, he'd get loads of traffic to his site, but he, he struggled getting people to give him his details to get in contact, and then the few, uh, not fantastic, and he struggled to get those leads turned into clients. And he wondered why. A tatted up guy, very lean, lots of photos of him with his shirt off, um, you know, looked in great shape and, and in a different niche would be fantastic, but he was targeting middle-aged women who were following Michelle Bridges, who is more about having fun, um, being in a community, and, and more of a mother's group sort of targeted person. So though that sort of target obviously isn't going to work at all. Whereas if we go to, for example, a, a, a guy that I spoke to the other week, uh, he was an ex-police um, force guy. Uh, he knew certain dates where people had to go for uh, tests to qualify to go to certain levels within the police force. And he had been through it all before and he had been successful. And as a result, he was targeting people that were going for police force, um, uh, going into the, you know, the tests to get to the next level or a certain level or whatever it might be. So he had been there before, he'd walked the walk, and he could speak to those people on a level of exactly, it, it made it a lot easier. So he was getting leads extremely cheap. He was converting at extremely high rate as well. And he had no issues whatsoever. So he could speak in their language. He walked the walk. He was his own testimonial. He had testimonials as well. He knew all the exact dates and he knew all of the real uh, hot buttons and, and pain points for those people in terms of, you know, when were the dates for those courses coming up how far out did they need to start training? He would advertise at those dates. And those people had a hard need. So rather than just um, targeting people that uh, are looking to tone up and lose weight and don't have a specific reason, if you target people that, that are the same as yourself, uh, you've, you've been there, you've walked the walk, and you pick a target that has a hard need, a, a timing, 
a timing hard need. So for example, other examples of that, like I just talked about someone that might be going for a course, a test or whatever it might be. Other ones, uh, for example, like weddings, male and females looking, uh, they're rolling up to a wedding. They've got a hard need, they've got a certain day. They're waking up each morning thinking, God, you know, there's only four weeks left, three weeks left, two, le two weeks left. And they want to get a result for their big day. Um, other events, things like that. So if you're targeting um, people that have a hard need within a time frame, they're always going to be the easiest to convert. They're always going to be the, the most likely to pay the highest amount for your service as well. And they're going to be the best clients because rather than just mucking around, not really having any internal motivation, they're going to have the external mo motivation from yourself, the internal motivation from the time, and, and the, obviously the main reason why they're reaching out. So they're going to be better clients. They're going to be more fun clients. They're going to get better results. And as, as, as a result, um, your services will get a better result. You'll get more testimonials. And then with those testimonials and case studies, of course, it's just going to flow on like a snowball effect. So uh, we've gone through the most profitable niches today. Don't Ideally, if you, haven't, if, if you haven't had success in one niche yet, don't branch out. Oh, I strongly suggest if you're a male, target males. If you're a male at a certain age that likes a certain thing, target exactly. If you're a female at a certain age that likes a certain thing and has had success in that, target that as well. So uh, if, if you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what my, my niche is um, before I've been in the gym and I've been a generalist um, personal trainer, which is, which is part of the problem for a lot of people. When they work in a gym, you pretty much get whoever walks in the door. But if you can niche down, you specialize, if you truly are a personal trainer and expert and you've gotten great results for yourself, that's the best place to start. Uh, so I suggest you start there and then go from there. Once you've nailed one and you've really um, you know, found your groove on that, you can branch out. But if you haven't nailed one yet, make sure that you find one that's specific, similar to yourself and ideally picking someone that has a hard need or a time they need that result by. So that's it from me today. Um, like I mentioned in the comment, just uh, comment down uh, below and one-on-one -on -one I'll be more than happy to review your niche and make sure that you're on the right path if you're not getting uh, a lot of leads and you're having trouble uh, converting those leads anyway. That's all from me today. I'll be speaking to you real soon. Bye for now.